Alright. Can you tell me about, uh... Can you tell me about your robo-scorpions? Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the dessert. The like dessert? Poisonous frosting. How scary, I thought. But they have survived when nothing else had. Hmm. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts and acted as walking eyes and data drained computers and acted as bullhorns? <laughs> then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. What I the don't fuck? so love custard. You know, was it mustard? Mustard custard. <laughs> mustard custard. Oh, I miss sugars and salts. I was curious about some things. I find things cu You don't seem aggressive. Why broadcast threats to the think tank? No, oh, I was hard on psycho when I said that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent, except when I am. Then watch out! <laughs> so many chems. This guy's a freaking drug addict. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big <laughs> spherical. He's an old freaking drug. <laughs> As for the psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. Wait, sounds like you know the Robo Scorpion to issue threats to keep the think tank occupied. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. There's some reason for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, con science? Con science. You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the reasons better than <laughs> I do. Why does he use the wrong words? Everything you've told me doesn't add up. Your plan, even your name, Mobius. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name, and my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity mm. at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I uh. believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with, like the what was your original tank, name? we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. Okay. You reprogram their names as part of recursion loop? What, to trap their processors? Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But, yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... <laughs> Why did you trap them? The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have ah, found okay. a way to disarm it. I suspect I have plan C's in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. Uh, probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say, trapped. <laughs> I prefer to have several plan B's in case the A's fail. Oh, I don't have uh, enough intelligence. Keep going, I want to hear the rest of this. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied. Since you can't multiply his real name in the <laughs> first place. because it's zero. Ouroboros. Klein, they have all forgotten themselves, and not only themselves, but the world, sense of time, and history. All that is left is what's here. 
I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world. Here, Big Mountain. Okay. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. <laughs> That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. Quiet professional. That's kind of an asshole thing to do to your friends. If you lobotomize a think tank, why terrorize them? Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. <laughs> that I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up, then you came along, the final variable solved. Uh -huh. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host. There must have been other signs of a larger world. There are other visitors, so why am I different? There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. Their what? You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, to... which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. Wow, can use a lot of stuff. The bullet that went into my brain, Dot Mitchell tried to patch me up, but... A cranial energy from the attack outside Good Springs. The only wrinkle is the one the bullet made going into my brain pan. Well, any of these, I guess. Let's try medicine. I might get experience for it. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats ingest you instead of the other <laughs> way around. Mm, Mentats? What the fuck? In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal, <laughs> and yours was a light case of bullet headitis. Bullet headitis? But it was enough for the autodoc in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem, and the brain extraction technology for once worked. Hmm. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, it couldn't, it should, couldn't possess. <laughs> With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. Hmm. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past ah, the radar okay. fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... So if I don't get my brain back in my head, I can't leave ever? So you set your threats on a loop to keep them occupied? Do you know anything about the other visitors? Oh no. I doubt your brain would be so unreasonable. <laughs> it already knows the trick of it, you see. Doesn't need to be in a host body at all. What the hell? If you become friends or exist in an uneasy truce with weapons aimed at each other, it would unlock the fence for you. Huh. Well, once the think tank was dealt with, of course, your brain is a responsible sort. Doesn't want mad scientists running around everywhere. So you set your threats on a loop to keep them occupied. Yes. I certainly wouldn't loop it on purpose. 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 <laughs> I am far too sophisticated to make such a childish error. 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 Do <laughs> you anything about the other visitors? Uh, not much. Except they contaminated Big Mountain and installed new ideas in the think tank. One caused a great deal of infrastructure damage with his brain and smartiness. 
Ruth missed that one. Played a little rough with the trains. Right. But the last one was the most dangerous. Him eh, slipping away. That was almost as bad as the think tank escaping. What do you mean? The first one, the ruthless one who smashed up our toy trains, asked for weapons, power, items he could use to destroy a nation mm. with force. The other, the other asked a different question, and with it got the true answer about what makes nations and what breaks them. He spoke to the think tank to climb, showed them the flag of the old world, and it made them remember all of it, all that had happened. They shared things with him that they shouldn't. He now carries those ideas, that knowledge, elsewhere. Who are these people? I was curious about some more yes, things. Yes, yes. I need my brain back. Do you? You seem fine without it. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent. Has all manner of opinions. Tell you what. I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. <laughs> I got 1200 XP and leveled up. Confront Dr. Mobius, re retrieve your brain from the Forbidden Zone. Indeed. The uh, goodbye part of our little chat then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Alright, leveled up. Well, might as well max out Barter. And put the rest in repair. Alright. There are a bunch of equations on the floor, that's for sure. What the hell is this thing? The brain tank. That's where I need to go. There it is, it's my brain. I'm not done yet. I wanna look around a little bit first. Science of Scrubs. A new Coca-Cola. I want the coffee mug. Oh my god, look how many mintats. Take them all. I can sell them. They don't weigh anything. Oh my god. Look how many mintats. A mintat explosion. Alright, I think I have enough, uh, Mintats now to last me a while.